the Winchester Circuit Cycling Race in this beautiful golf course community in Meadow Vista, California, has been an annual event since 2016. It was canceled in 2020 and was postponed until today, September 18th, 2021, due to COVID-19. The Body Concepts Bicycle Racing Team is the sponsor and organizer of the race this year. Twelve separate races will be starting today, organized by age and racing category. We will speak with participants from different racing categories to find out what racing means to them and what drives and motivates them to do hard training and race today. Hello and welcome to Telvia. The race is four to six laps, depending on the racer's category, around a unique four and a half mile circuit course over rolling hills with up to a 12% grade. The approach to the finish line is steeply uphill and presents both a physical and tactical challenge to the racers. Each race category has its own story, 12 in all. But let's focus on what happened in one representative race, the women's category four and five told by Annie Wallen, who won this race. Let's listen to what happened. The race went well. I raced in the 4-5 group, and so there were only four of us, so, so a small group, but to be expected. And it stayed together up until the very end. Uh, and I think that that had a lot to do with how substantial the hills were. If you're not going up, you're going down. And if you're not going down, you're going up. Um, and they were pretty significant pitches, so you were kind of redlining the entire time. And uh, but our group stayed together, worked, worked okay. Uh, we kept one girl out on the front for the entire time because nobody wanted to take a turn, and uh, that's how it stayed for the majority of the race. It took patience, uh, and I'm still new to the sport, so it took paying attention to what the girls uh, that were around me were doing. Um, I noticed particularly there was one girl that I was riding, it was about third wheel for the majority of the race, and she was not going to get come off of the first girl's wheel. So she just stuck there the entire time, and I could see um, just from the way that she sort of handled her bike that she could have absolutely just taken off but she was really patient and she had a, I think she had a goal and she had a commitment going into the race and she just stuck on this girl's wheel and I took a hint from her and said, if she's not gonna leave, I'm not gonna leave either. So I stuck on her wheel, so patience. Um, and also one of the big things today was shifting. So being in the right gear at the right time because you go from going, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour to a pitch that ate up all of the speed and you had to be in the right in the right gear to make sure that, that a gap didn't start to open up. And then broke apart at probably the last 200 feet or so, uh, kind of splintered off and um, we weren't so much in a line and people just took off and I clinched the win, which was pretty cool. We were interested to find out what bicycle racing means to the people who are here racing. What does it take to win a race and what motivates them to train and continue racing. Here are the highlights of the answers to our first question. Bicycle racing for me is freedom and liberation and it's like most pure form. Um, there's just nothing like the energy of being in a peloton and uh, the force of being with other riders at race pace on a beautiful course like this is just the most liberating feeling that I could ever imagine push me to go harder, to, to push my limits. It's just fun, a lot of fun. The, the different kind of fun, you know, the, the painful kind. I like the camaraderie of being in a team sport and where we help one another to reach our goals. I'm not a podium person, but I like helping out as much as I possibly can, and I, I enjoy every aspect of it. And the physical fitness part is a bonus. Bicycle racing, what does it mean to me? Wow, that's a deep question. It is a lifestyle for me, really. It's gonna help transform everything I do in my normal life, so it's, uh, it's been amazing. It's a complicated question, actually. It's a way of testing yourself. It's a way of learning to work in a group, being able to sacrifice for your team, you know, find out what you're made of. But about five minutes after the race, you're like, uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, generally, it means camaraderie and being with my friends every Saturday and during the week. And it also means fitness. It's a good way to get fitness. I do it because I get to hang out with friends, but be competitive and meet new people and try to win races. It's a way to get out and be around people and hang out with your friends. Bicycle racing is an outlet to me to do something for myself away from work and family, and uh, that way I can give my heart to everything else once I get this out of my system. <laughs> As racing, uh, it's a celebration of training. 
So it's, you know, you put in all the work during the week and uh, you're taking time out of doing other things and kind of putting your heart into it every single day and sweating and um, sometimes bleeding a little bit and then you get to come to a race and yeah, you know, it's only 60 miles, but it's going to be a really hard 60 miles, but all of the work that you've put in up to this point, you get to come out here and kind of say, this is what I got, and I, I'm going to show you what I got. It's, it, I, it's something I got into when I was younger. Um, I was always into some sort of sport, and um, I just love the idea that I can leave my front door and I can ride and see so many different things. And, and, and I've traveled so many different places to ride my bike and I've just really enjoyed that. And I, I love the competition. It's every time I think I'm kind of fading out of it, it just sucks me back in. It just makes me want to do it. I like the people I race with and I like that competitive aspect. Yeah, so that's a great question. I've talked to people about it and, and Alan, who's off to my right, and I were just talking about um, really kinship and, and ultimately the beauty of bike racing is always the team component. Whether I win or contribute, it's fantastic. If I'm on the podium, um, I tell people I don't get to be here without Alan, without Brian, without my wife, without my training partners. It's always a team behind cycling. And so it is one of the most beautiful sports because of that. And there's so many dynamics. There is fitness, there's equipment, there's weather, there's geography, there's knowledge of each other. It's a fantastic sport. It never gets old. What does it take to win a race? Here's what we've heard from the racers. The critical thing to win a race would be to just not give up. There's so many times I've, I've been doing these races and I've been, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know, my endurance isn't good enough. But then I sit there and I look around me and everybody is sitting there hurting and it's just down to, you know, mentality. Try to stay in it even as long as you can, even if it's just longer than you personally can go before. I would say there are a lot of people in the race that are all capable of winning. It's how bad you want it. At the end of the race or the critical parts in the race when you are just dying, if you want it more than the guy next to you, you're going to be willing to suffer that little bit longer or know that everyone's cramping and you're just gonna make them cramp harder by going harder yourself. That's what it takes to win is believing you can do it. Yeah, I've done a couple dozen races so far this season. Uh, what I think it takes to win a race is, well, playing it smart, not, it doesn't take just power. It, it's also playing smart on the corners, drafting, and yeah. You have to be brave and you can't be a sheep. You have to be a wolf and then you have to be fit. You have to be very focused on your nutrition, your training, uh, your sleep, everything. You have to have balance in life that allows you to rest uh, completely. Uh, and we'll, maybe I'll have a better answer after today, I don't know. A lot of it's mental. I mean, you know, granted there's a certain physical set of abilities you have to have. And of course that's gonna vary depending on the kind of race, but you have to, have your head in the right space to where you think you can win. You know, if you go into a race and you're, oh, well, this guy's so much better than me, that guy's so much better, it's not gonna happen. You have to go into a race, you have to think, I can win this race, I can beat all these guys. And you don't, you know, not in an arrogant way, like you, you might think, well, on a given day, this guy can beat me or that guy can beat me, but today I feel like I can beat all those guys and, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna ride like that. I'm gonna ride like I can beat those guys. I'm not gonna be afraid of them. Unfortunately, today I'm not at that fitness level and I was afraid of people, <laughs> but that's different. <laughs> yeah. I think it takes heart, it takes soul, it takes risk, and it takes team and a lot, a lot of training. Third, what motivates and drives you to train and race again? Let's listen to some of the answers. Very simply, it, it gets you in shape. Keep coming out here and I'm racing, and even if I don't get the results that I'm looking for, uh, just the riding the bike training keeps you in shape and I'm not getting any younger so uh, you know it's, it's good to I think to get out there and just stay in shape. My, my teammates for sure help out with that a lot want to try to be a little bit faster than I was yesterday and races are the best way to do that because you, you're now putting yourself against people that are higher quality that have been putting in the same effort as you and and they'll push you that little bit 
that you need to get better. Uh, it's just the whole cycling community. I mean, bike racing is uh, so much of a tight community. It's just uh, a great way to bond with people that are like-minded. It keeps your fitness going, motivation, strength. And, you know, in our age, it's really about keeping the body running at, at top form, right? So that's what it means to me. I like to try and push myself as hard as I can physically and mentally, and this is a great outlet for me. Training hard is always just important for racing, and I feel like something that actually motivates me for training is knowing the same people are going to show up at the races and being able to try to see how I perform against them. Well, it's been a really long season for me. I've been traveling across the country for races, so for me, having a mentor and partners to train with helps a lot. For me, my social life is like kind of revolving around my riding, so that, yeah, support is the number one thing. I don't think this could have happened. Like, I couldn't be doing this if it wasn't for my whole team backing me, my mentors, my family, my partners. It's all about support. It's not like a one-person thing. It takes a village. So I retired two years ago, and, and when I worked, I had a pretty time-limited training regime that worked really well for me. And in retirement, I got to where I could just ride a ton. I was riding like 17, 18,000 miles a year, and I just really enjoyed the riding with my friends. And I'm finding now that that's not enough to be competitive. So I'm, I'm trying to rejigger things because, you know, you need the time to ride, but you have to ride in the right ways. And sometimes riding 25 hours a week isn't as good as riding 15 hours a week if they're the good kind of 15 hours. And, and that's why I'm right now. I, I, I very much find that I, I probably need to ride less, but I have to ride hard, you know, do my, do my homework. I, I tell people that um, winning is great, but it's not that great. It's all of the small moments, all of the little things that you do every day that build towards the event. And so ultimately, winning is just a small outcome of all of the time that you have in training, all of the time you have with your friends, all of the experiences that you have together, discipline, organization. Um, so winning is great, but it's not that great. It's everything that leads up to it that's fantastic. Hey George, um, just a quick shout out to Body Concepts. I think if you look around the race, you see a number of Thirsty Bear riders. Uh, we're here for a couple of reasons. Uh, reason number one is we want to uh, certainly put our team behind the team that sponsors this terrific uh, event. We love the course, is number two. And uh, we'd like to thank uh, Body Concepts for their support of the sport, your team in this race. So thank you guys. We've got a lot of people here and, and it's all for you. I hope you found this coverage of 2021 Winchester Circuit Cycling Race interesting and entertaining. If so, please watch other videos on this channel. Consider liking and subscribing. See you next time. Cheers.